test. Hello everyone. What's up GS? Hey Joseph, how you doing? Let me know, does it look like I have like a little delay between my uh, video and my sound? Like when I tap on my bench. Is it a little off? I think stupid, uh, stupid windows. Hey Compton, how about it? That might be it. Do I look okay? Everything sounds good. All good? Awesome. I like to hear that. Man, I've had all kinds of things going on in here right before I press start streaming, man. A slight delay. I'll work on that, man. Man, Windows Update, I mean, Windows 10 does this, you know how that goes, does this stupid update when you don't want it to. And then it, like, puts all your, sets everything all your settings back to default. Yeah, I know I could stop it from doing that, but come on. Come on. How's everybody doing, man? It's been a little while. Good to see you. Tony, how about it, buddy? Better get into what I'm doing here in a second. Compton, Joseph, Guilty Spark, Tony, C. Perry's here. Man, that's good company. It's awesome. <clears throat> I'll show you what I'm going to be getting into here. Nothing. It's no big deal, man. It really isn't. This is one of those little small jobs that I just says, yeah, hey, you know, I'll fire up the camera. I say that every time, don't I? But guess what? It's not a fan repair. <laughs> hey, Stuart, how you doing? I've just been working on this, too, behind me. Over here. Well, you can't see because my head don't like that. Right there. Anybody know what that is? Take a guess what that is over there. Come on, Guilty Spark. I know you can guess it. See if you can guess what that is behind me. It's a little out of focus. Mining. Joseph nailed it. That is Bitcoin mining uh, rig. Just having some issues. Uh, let's see if I can. Will it work if I? Uh, ah, look at that. Got it to focus on it. Can you see it a little bit better now? I'll pick it up, bring it over here in a minute. But um, that's a uh, Bitcoin mining rig that got brought into my shop with issues. But those, that's five Vega 64 cards. 
I mean, that's insane. And they're so power hungry, it's unbelievable. But it is the best that AMD has to offer uh, when it comes to efficiency, to be honest. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll probably have that on a video or something and show you the issues that it's having and what we can do to correct them. But let's get into what I'm doing here real quick. I'm not doing nothing too fancy here with this, man. So I'm going <clears> to... <throat> we got here a little small... What is this? Look at all the stickers. This is a little HP Protect Smart. Um, model 13-A051NR. And it's a, look at all the stickers, man. <laughs> yeah. Stickers everywhere, right? It's got a little A8, A8 processor in it, you know. It's, it is what it is with it. But I'm going to power this on. I'm going to show you what it says when you power it on. Find out where the... Power adapter is here for this. No problem, DK Lucas. No problem. Let's see if I can get this camera. Let's see that maybe a little bit more. Let's see. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? Uh -huh. That's my customer's face. Focus. There we go. Looks okay, I guess. So with this one, uh, she brought it in complaining of an error that she gets when it starts up. Let's see if we can get it to repeat that error. Oh, look at there. CMOS checksum is invalid. CMOS will be reset to the default configuration. Wonder why that is. Check your BIOS setup. And then it boots on its own here. See what it does. Then it boots into Windows, basically. So that happens uh, every time you turn on the computer. So what is the first thing you think of? Let's see if I can get this to reboot again here. Sign out. Mm -mm. Hey Ben, what's happening? Dead battery, Joseph says. <laughs> Dead battery. Pretty good guess. Pretty good guess there, Joseph. Pretty good guess. Get just the power off. There we go. Actually, that's exactly what the issue is. BIOS update issues, GS. It wouldn't let me finish reading. Now it says, uh, detected that the storage capacity of the battery stated below to be very low. For optimal performance, this battery may need to be replaced. Aha! Well, that kind of tells us what's going on with it, right? So we're going to replace this battery and see if we can um, 
get that air to go away. Let's hope that's what that is. So this is a battery replacement video or stream or whatever you want to call it for this particular computer. So what I have already done, because I had to make sure I ordered the proper battery and I had to get a visual on it, is I have taken out the screws that allows me to get into this computer and basically it's uh, obviously all of the screws that are visible and then as dumb as it as dumb as they do it there's two tabs here that you got to take off that there's screws heading under there and then there's two feet here that you got to take off that they, that they hide um, to finish removing the screws there and then there's another tab here that they hit a screw under god jeez booby traps everywhere right gotta watch for that anytime you see little i mean I, and i even i even take these off just to look i'll just take them at least one of them to at least look underneath it because you know in today's world with these laptops they're hiding screws everywhere man i can't believe it so um one second uh, these screws are out. Let me get my couple of my tools here. This here. This here. And let's have a look inside this uh, Touch Smart here. See what we got. Corrupt CMOS. Stuart Boatville says, I guess I pronounced that right. Yeah, it's corrupt, but it's corrupt because of the battery. Bad battery. At least that's what it's telling us. So I just take me, a, I love my metal, I says me tool. I've got several of them. It just seems to work well when it comes to popping off these pop it off these keyboards or palm rests I like them better than the actual plastic spudgers to be honest as long as you don't have to use too much force it's all good okay and of course underneath there is going to be Obviously the batteries here. There's the hard drive and we have these ribbon cables that are That are attached So if you got big hands, they make that very difficult Of course I don't like sticking anything metal in there while the battery is still attached. So let's try to let me try to flip up These zip connectors. There's that one and then the one <laughs> Squeeze my hand down in here to pop off the other ZIF connector if I can get it. Let me just be careful here. I'm going to pop that up with that. There we go. Uh, oh, it broke. I'm just kidding. It didn't break. There we go. Okay, there's that. There's our battery. There's our culprit, according to the error we're getting, right? Oh my gosh, look at that name. What is that? Abhis, no, Abhishek, Roy. My gosh, these names are crazy. From India. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, so then we have what? Another ribbon cable here? Well, you can't see. Let me... I think we're a little bit blurry too, aren't we? Let me get that, fix that. Let's see if I can fix that. Oh. Yeah, that'll work. So we got another ribbon cable here that comes from the main board over to this little daughter board. But I think what I want to do right off the bat is disconnect this battery. And that's just this cable right here. So I'll just pull back on that. Disconnect the battery. That's done. No, I don't have to worry about shorting anything out. It looks pretty straightforward. Um, 
I guess you could just take off one of these ribbon cables, take your pick, or take them both off, or whatever, whatever you want to do. Pips back like that. Um, it looks like we have a speaker cable here. Speaker cable that needs to come out, and I'm having a hard time. Let's see what this does. It needs to come out, so maybe that doesn't need to come out. I can kind of just move it out of the way. What else do we have? Let's compare that to the new battery. All right, all right, obviously. So we got two screws here. We got one here with the big white arrow pointing to it. I wonder if that one comes out. <laughs> Here's another one. Big white arrow. They make that pretty obvious, huh? And I've got two screw holes down here, but it's looking like that's where the palm rest screw goes in. And then the other hole is just for a, a guide. So I think we're loose. I hope this isn't glued in here. It's not. I think this should come right out. It looks like the speaker may somehow. Let's see. Oh, no, it comes out. Oh, no, no, the vein will catch it. There's it. Yep. No. Hey, hey, what do you know? <laughs> Pretty easy replacement there. Hey, Mitch, how you doing, buddy? How are you doing, Mr. Mitch? Let's see. Sure this goes back right make sure I get all these cables here out of the way the fan cable the ribbon cable here and the speaker cable here ah, get one out of the way and the other one falls back into place right all right Okay, fits in there good. I'll be sure I got the orientation of the battery cable correct. Let's just screw it all back in. How about that? That's good to hear, Mitch. Got the screw back for in there. Put this screw back. That'll secure the battery into place. I wonder if this battery was shipped with a charge. Put this ribbon cable back in. You know what I'm going to have fun doing is putting those darn ribbon cables back on. Taking them off is easy. I always fight with them things. Oh man. Uh, there we go. That looks right. That looks good. Okay, we'll bend this back and plug this in here. Fight with that a little bit. Bang. Kind of press that down. I guess that'll be okay. It's a little different than the way it was done with the original battery, but I think we're okay there. All right. So I guess um I guess we could maybe try to just power this on to see if the air is still there, right? Before I put everything back together. What would it matter, right? You know what? See, Perry? It looks really clean. It really, the fan looks really clean. It really does. So I'll, I'll probably, matter of fact, I may have already done that. Because <laughs> I've, I've waited on the battery to come in while I've had this apart. So I think the reason why it looks really clean is because I've already done that. I've already hit it with some air. But thanks for pointing that out. Thank you, sir. Never know, right? It's better to have more eyes than just your own sometimes. Plug, let's plug this in and just turn it on. And see at least if that battery air goes away, right? Power it on. CMOS checksum is invaluable. We knew that. We knew that, right? So we can fix that. 
Let me turn it off again and turn it on again and see if we get the battery error. If we don't, we got it. Nope, straight to HP. So I'm not getting the battery error anymore, which is fantastic. And I hate to keep cutting this off in the middle of it trying to load Windows, but I'm going to do it. All right. Just to check. Now we can put this stuff back together. This is the fun part. I hate these things. I hate these things, I'm telling you. I like, I hate these almost as much as I hate those little uh, antenna cables that go on the Wi-Fi cards. I mean, these are the larger ones, man. They come small now. I mean, really small. I'll sit there forever trying to get those on back, put back on there. It just drives me nuts. So, um, I figured out the best way to, I'm not sure what angle I need to get at here. Let's just see. Uh, and it's all dark too, because I don't have any light. Let's see. Come on. Don't laugh at me, everybody. I'm going to sit here and fight with this for a while. Oh, my gosh. I need to hire somebody just to come put these freaking ribbon cables back on there for me. <laughs> I hate it. All right, hang on. I got something here. Oh, oh. That's not it. Wow. Well. That's crazy. Let's see. <laughs> uh, I got something there. That might have it, actually. Wow. Only one way to find out. Let me... Get this backlight. Was that the backlight? I think so. No, it's probably the uh, touchpad. Oh, man, I can't see. I don't think that's right. Get my flashlight real quick. Trusty, handy, dandy flashlight. <laughs> Be quiet, Compton. I got this. Oh, nice. I got some light now. I still can't see. Wow. Almost got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Good light always helps, man. This is an awesome flashlight. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is a Cree. A Cree XML T6. It is a beast of a light. Okay. I'm just going to rest that down right there. I'm going to turn, I'm going to um, plug this back in and fire it up just to be sure that we have keyboard. Eh, wrong side. Keyboard and touchpad. See if we do. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Preparing automatic repair because I turned it off. What I do, goof windows. It's not out of the question. I usually make it a habit not to uh, power off a system while I was trying to load, but I think Windows 10 is a bit better about it. Diagnosing your PC. <laughs> okay. It'll be all right. We'll get it. Yes, yeah, he parried three hands. I'm telling you.
I told you I should just hire somebody to come in and take care of that. Attempting repairs. I broke it, everybody. I broke it while I was repairing it. <laughs> Let's just reboot here real quick. Let me shut it down. Try it again. See that? I told you when I shut that off like that, that it could happen, and it sure did. Let's try it again. Come on. <laughs> It'll go. I got confidence in it. Come on. Still trying to load. There we go. Come on. There we go. I knew it would come back for me. Woohoo! So, oh, I have. Let's see. And. Uh, wait a second. Yep, and I have keyboard. So. Let's shut this down. Look at that. They don't give you the option to shut down over here anymore. What is that about? Sign in options. Account password. Hmm. Let's see if I can shut it down like that for now. So all we need to do is to put the screws back in. Snap it into place. Put the screws back in. And then I'll fire it up completely, let it boot to the desktop, and then we'll check to see if everything is charging. But we're not getting that error anymore, so I feel pretty confident that, um, that this job is pretty much done in that case. Told you guys it was just a little simple little job and <clears throat> but I need to pick simple jobs for live streams because I don't want to I could literally sit here for hours and I don't want to bore everybody with that. Hey you know what I got a good story for you. <laughs> so I use these magnets. Um, this is like a laptop magnet that you pull out of the like the top lid because it helps the uh, it makes the computer go to sleep right in a in a just put that on my screwdrivers um, but this is my favorite one this is like really thick heavy duty I got a couple smaller ones and I come across them but but uh, this one this one is my favorite one and from time to time this is real easy to put back too, by the way, because all the uh, screws are the same size. From time to time, when I go to grab my tool, that magnet is missing. So I'm like, where in the heck is it? So I'm looking around, and I'm looking around, and I'm looking on things that are metal. What, what did I work on last? <laughs> and... I find I even give up on it a lot and then I find it in some really strange places that's this little it keeps coming back and some of the places that I found it I don't know would be like I had this snowball microphone that I use here let's see yeah let's see if I kind of want to disconnect everybody but I got this snowball microphone that I use here and one time I just happened to look over and there it was. 
it's just sitting there. I was like, I guess somehow my screwdriver kind of made contact with it and it pulled it off. Uh, it, weird places like that, right? So, but every time I give up on trying to find it, it pops up in some weird place. Well, this last time, I really gave up on looking for it, right? Because it 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 had been weeks since I've seen it, and I and I says I just totally gave up on it. And there was one day. <laughs> I was petting my cat and she jumped over in the chair like next to me and she was laying there and I was kind of looking at her and she's got a uh, collar on and she's got a little uh, license metal license on her collar and I'd be damned if sitting right next to that on her collar was was that little magnet? I was like, you gotta be kidding me! How long has she been walking around with that magnet on her collar? I thought it was amusing, and I got my magnet back. I guess see, she jumps up on my bench a lot and come and try to distract me and whatever. I guess her her collar or whatever made contact with my screwdriver and off it went right funny story okay where's Brian John I don't know why don't you get him in here he's around somewhere You can get him in here. Hey, let me ask everybody something. Because I was just testing something out. Did you guys get my little um, shout out on YouTube about uh, my show starting in an hour? I was just wondering if that worked. I just tried it to see if it worked. But if not, that's okay. I was trying to give everybody a little bit of heads up. So... Uh, you know, if you have if you have a minute or you have something to do, you can wrap it up or whatever if you want to come join me. Oh my God, I can't get these sticky things out of this bag. <laughs> there, rip it open. There we go. So these are really sticky, so I don't think I have to worry about adding glue or anything to these. Oh, you got it? Oh, that's great, man. That's good. Glad to hear that. So, I've been gone a while. My daughter got married. I had to go to Colorado. So that kind of put everything on hold. And with new employees, my business literally shuts down. But what are you to do, right? What are you to do? Here we go. How about that? Looks good. So I'm going to turn this on one more time. We're going to look to see how the battery is being charged. And we're going to close this one up. And I'm going to bring up that... Uh, Bitcoin mining machine here just to let it everybody take a gander at it so I don't want nobody to see my my uh, customers face or log in oh what is her password uh, what is this uh, password is bear with me everyone Got it. Let's try that. Ah, uh, yes, the bell notifications are important. 
Everybody talks about the bell notifications. <clears throat> okay. Let me log in. Logging in. Just to check to see if the battery is charging. I'm sorry, Roy. I don't know why you didn't get that. Waiting, 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 waiting. This poor little A8 is running as fast as it can. No, I can't show that. Can't show that. That's my customer's faces. So, sorry, everyone. Still waiting for a battery icon to pop up down here. And if it does, then we'll just call it a day. You'll have to take my word for it, I guess. <clears throat> Still waiting for that. Yeah, Compton, I noticed that. Sometimes you don't get them at all. It was the longest time Brian wasn't getting uh, my um, live notifications. Okay, so what I have down here, everyone, is... Um, on. Still loading here. This poor little A8 is running as fast as it can. One hour, four minutes to full charge and it is charging so you know what that means right ha -ha. that means that little job was successfully done pretty easy job bang that off a little bit yeah so I'll shut this down let me throw up this um Ah, she's got a little bit of adware going on here. Shut down. Okay. Uh, this guy over here is just doing a little bit of a um, cleanup is all that is. But uh, let me throw up this uh, Bitcoin miner and let you guys have a look at it. And then we'll talk about it for a minute and we'll just call it a day. Hey, that's good. Thanks a lot for joining me with this one, huh? Look at the stickers. Hmm. Never know what we'll bring in, right? Let me go grab that. No. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Kind of tough to see where the video call, the motherboard is, but it's down there. It's a custom-made case here. This is this is this is what you know the type of shell that miners usually use instead of a case because there's so many cards and there's so much heat produced. Um, you don't want you know all that heat and cramming all that stuff into one case. Plus, it's only there to do one thing, and that's mine. And that's it. That's the only thing they build these for. But as I stated before, these are Vega 64 cards. The last I priced these, these are $1,100 a piece if you can find them. So there's five of these babies on here. Plus there's a Asus Strikes motherboard um, that he's using with the regular stock Intel heatseek. You don't really need a lot of CPU processing power. But it's using these things on these cards here that are called risers. Um, here, let me tilt that up a little bit. So whatever's connected, you know, here, acting as a PCI Express slot, it's actually called a riser. And there is a USB 3 port that runs out of there and actually connects 
right into the PCI Express slots. Now that's that's the PCI Express 16 slots. That's the PCI Express 1 slot. It doesn't matter. When it comes to mining, the, uh, the X factor on those slots do not matter. Um, there's a special driver. And I'll, let me see if I can get you up close of what these cars here looks like. That just plugs into the PCI Express slot itself. Um, so these risers come as kits you can buy on Amazon or wherever. Um, and there's there is special drivers for these cars that you install, special mining drivers. So it's not like gaming or anything at all. As a matter of fact, if you game, if you try to game with the mining drivers, uh, you're going to get really terrible frame rates. But the uh, the mining drivers, though, what they do is they're specifically made for Bitcoin mining. And uh, there's also a special code that you use to activate multiple cards. And they do not work in SLI when it comes to Bitcoin. No SLI involved at all. So if, if you try to install your regular drivers and you want to put all these in SLI, uh, you know, it's you know, if you're building this for Bitcoin mining, you don't want to use those regular drivers. You want to use the Bitcoin mining drivers that they have specifically for these cards, and then you have to kind of look at the uh, codes and all that you can inject that actually activates each card. So when you first power this on uh, with those drivers, you're going to get all the cards that light up. These have lights on them, the LEDs uh, that shows you the state that they're in, right? And uh, you'll get them all light lighting up. And then you'll see them start to all go to sleep except for one. Um, and you can even, you know, push the push the cards, you know, put a, a benchmarking tool on there that pushes the cards. And you'll only get one card pushing, right? With this Bitcoin mining driver that you have on there, right? But as soon as you go to do your mining, uh, that driver recognizes that and then it starts activating the other cards so they all work in tandem. This guy, just real quick, um, you know, reading different things about these are, these are such bleeding edge cards, uh, they, could, they can use up to 375 watts a piece for mining, but I've also read that um, there you can tweak them to where they're only drawing about 120 watts each from mining. So he's got a 1200 watt gold thermal take power supply on here. Um, and so, I mean, if you're pulling 375 watts each off of this, obviously do the math, he's not going to have enough power. But there is a way uh, based upon what I was reading, uh, I'm still learning a little bit about these cards, but you can uh, drop that, you know, you can, you can, these can be very efficient. Maybe not with Bitcoin, there's another coin that they uh, call, oh gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue, I can't remember it. Um, these probably aren't good for Bitcoin mining, there's another kind of coin that I can't think of right now, but that's okay. I'm sure someone in the chat will probably know what that is. Um, Ah, uh, yeah, John, good point. A lot of times you have to delete the battery driver to calibrate it. Yes, sir. Uh, you know what, John? I will be checking that, actually, um, before I release the computer. I want to be sure uh, that, uh, that it's being monitored correctly. So you are right on that. Good point. Good catch there. Um, see ya, Ben. He's out of here. Roy, a cooling tower. Yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to be doing a video on this rig um, to show the issues that it's having and then to show the repair to it. Um, he's He's been dabbling with this for quite some time, and he's about sick of it. He can't figure it out. So it's going to be interesting to jump into this and... Uh, and see what we, we all can learn from it, right? So, hey, I'm going to sign off. 
I really appreciate everybody joining me here today. VPN filter? I don't know, I man. You know what? It's nasty. Uh, Tony. And, and, you know, all I can say is, uh, you know, be sure that you are doing all the latest updates on your router. For sure. Check that router. I've got an Asus router, and um, it, it started notifying me that it had an update. So, of course, you need to reboot your router and install that update. But it just goes to show just how um, vulnerable things can be. If the right person knows, you know, if the right person, you know, hacks your stuff, man. I mean, that's that's routers. That's that's all business class routers, residential routers, of all. It's about all makes and models. It's, it's bad stuff, really bad stuff. That's it. That's it, Stuart. Eth Ethereum. How do you pronounce that? I never can. Ethereum. Eth Ethereum coins. Ether that's what he's got this for. Ethereum, Ethereum, I think maybe. That's what he's using this for, not not Bitcoin mining itself. But uh, anyways, we'll be getting back into that. I don't know, Tony. You know, reboot your router, update update the firmware, and keep a keep a close eye on you know where that thing is going from here. I haven't heard much about it since. Legal Tender. Marshall Islands have created their own cryptocurrency as Legal Tender, Guilty Spark says. See, it's stuff like that, GS, that um that get people buying stuff like this. <laughs> and the thing about it is I think I think the uh, Bitcoin now is starting to drop like mad, this value. But that's what it always does. It goes down, it goes up, it goes down. Kevin Adair in the house. How you doing, Kevin? Mr. Kevin. Haven't seen old Kevin in a while. Jose? Thanks, buddy. Appreciate the comment. You like my videos? Thanks. It's Ethereum, John says. It's Ethereum mining. Gotcha. Ethereum sounds better, but okay. I'll go with Ethereum. I'll go with that. We'll see. I've got a uh, a watt meter here, and and I was just base just testing each card separately and like benching them. And oh my God, it was pulling. It was like maxing out my load meter. One card. Jesus Christ! Wow. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. These cards here. Um, anyway, Kevin, I know you just came here, but. I'm fixing to log off, buddy. We did a little repair, and I'm showing it, showed everybody this uh, mining rig here, and I'm about to sign off. Again, appreciate everybody. Uh, anything with rum. Ha, 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 I love it. You know it, man. Or vodka. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for uh, checking me out. Timscomputerfix.net, of course. You can find me there. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that bell to get notifications. And we'll see you again soon, everybody. Bye.